Well, very often people who come into our lives when we least expect it often have the greatest impact. And for two Victoria women, each in a fight for their lives, nothing could be more true. CTV Stephanie Sherlock has their story. On a hot August day, Bonnie and Carla met through a mutual friend on this beach. Little did we know Bonnie was going to kneel down in front of us and tell us that she had breast cancer. The two young mothers, with so much in common already, would soon form an inconceivable bond. But what she didn't know was that what she told me in her story triggered something for me because I had been having pain in one of my breasts for about three months. We went on a trip. Well known in Victoria's fashion and beauty industry, 42-year-old Bonnie was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer in June. My type of cancer is a very aggressive and very fast growing. On her way to chemotherapy that August day, she was honest when asked about her new short blonde hairstyle. I decided I was going to speak out and share my story um, and it's nothing about me as Bonnie and needing attention or anything. It's about me trying to help. The chance encounter did help. That day at the beach prompted Carla to see her doctor. Just a few short weeks later, the 34-year-old got the unbelievable news. You have breast cancer. Of course, it's a very emotional reaction of tears because I don't wish this on anybody. Um, but a huge part of those tears of relief because hopefully, I mean, that's all we have is hope, is that she's caught soon enough that it can be curable. Three weeks post mastectomy, Carla begins radiation next week and credits Bonnie for the awakening. She's the whole reason why I detected cancer. Bonnie, whose cancer has spread to her lymph nodes, has daily radiation now to try to shrink the two tumors in her breast. Unable to work, her family needs a little help. She's somebody's mom. She's somebody's daughter. She's somebody's wife. Carla hopes hearing their story will prompt people to give. If you're interested in learning more about Bonnie or helping her family, go to BonniePollard.com, a site her friends, including her newest and dearest, have set up on her behalf. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.